Hello, and you join us again for our Disney month, uh, which isn't really a month, technically. Uh, and this one, uh, this week rather, we are looking at the second of Sean's fil- uh, choice of films. I think it's one of your favourites, isn't it? It is one of my favourites. This is, and Beauty but... and Beast was my growing up. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast, I remember growing up. I didn't, I, I wasn't, uh, we're doing 101 Dalmatians, in case you're wondering. You should already gather that, because obviously you've clicked on the link. Yeah, above. It will be yeah, it's above. I write a different film, just to completely mess with everyone. Um, I didn't... I, I, I like parts of 101 Dalmatians, but I've never been overly fond of the whole thing. There are moments where the plot for me just goes, I'm not interested anymore. You've, you've lost me. But we'll, but we'll uh, get through that. We'll, we'll find that as we go through the film. It's like me and The Walking Dead. I just don't care anymore. And um, There are moments, but then it's just... And, uh, it's Walking right, Dead. Okay. Yeah, right, right. Uh, so we're going to start in the film in three, two, no, and up. Good my, I hate this bloody thing we found for it. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm going to eat M&Ms. Mm. Yeah, right, right, we're going to start the video in three, two, one, go. Ah, my ears. Oh, loud. God damn it, Buena Vista. Why do we always forget the volume? Yes. Look at that. Oh my god, dogs. So this is 1960... 1960s. 60, I think. 61. 61, I think it's the yeah. exact thing. Not, 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 not 1,021 Dalmatians. No. Nope. 101, that's, like, that's the next sequel. Um, it's interesting, though, because the posters and everything do it by number, because when we looked it up as well... It was well it's weird. probably quicker to write on the poster. You haven't got yeah, much space is. for the... Because the actual official name for it is is, in te- is, is the word. Yeah, well, based on the book where it's written is the words. Yeah. All books called something else. When was Sleeping Beauty done? 1950... something... I was going to say, because at the moment we're going through a decade by decade. I mean, Dumbo was 41. Sleeping Beauty was 50s. We've got 61 here. Mm. Alright, the next one I think we're doing is 80s or 90s. It's much later. Mm. Um, but we're moving forward all the time as well. Obviously because we're doing it chronologically. Again, credits at the start. Mm. I like it. I like credits at the start. I think all films should do it. It, w- it makes more sense though when you've got a smaller car. Well, yeah, it's modern day films. Yeah, but it's 20 minutes before the film starts. But they do this. They don't just do it as in, here are the credits rolling. James they Bonster they does animate it. it I assume way. James Bonster does the... Yeah, but it's not all of them. Mm. The opening credits. Okay, it's a bit before the opening credits, but you get... Yeah, the book's called The 101 Dimensions. One Dimensions. I hope they write it in cursive. <laughs> Like, is that an F or a... difficult to read? Well, it's because everything with Disney's done cursive. Mm. I mean, the one Wait, di- for years well, I thought it was Bisney. Bisney? How the D's written. Oh, yeah, because well, that is his signature. Yeah, I know, it's his signature. When... Oh, it's just. Uh, can I get that? Ah, oh, that's, that's an iconic theme. Someone may not have seen that in Tesco's this one. <clears throat> seen what? Well, someone who will show me nameless may have been seeing that in Tesco's this one. Oh, uh, was he? <clears throat> the looks you get is hilarious. <laughs> I've got it set in London. Yeah. There's Big Ben. There's Westminster Bridge. Crown oh, Bridge. I don't know the bridges after it. I don't know which way down the river that's looking. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't there's no tower. tower of London either. There's, there's, there's Tower Bridge there. I yeah, saw there's that. No tower of London. Very lovely clear cut voice, isn't it? Pipe. I think Anita ever gets a surname before she's married. Mm. I can't remember what Maggie ever does. I love how he just goes, that's my pet. Yeah, that's in the yeah. book. The book does that. Yeah. 
That's how I imagine animals to think sometimes. No, Anita doesn't get a surname before, at least not in the film, before marriage. Did you de- did you get one in the live action one? Oh, let me look at that. Um, what was the live action one? Nine ninety six. It's like four names in the. Uh, Anita Campbell Green Dealy. Wow. Wow, she's a fashion designer. What do you expect? Yeah. Also not, also, not, also not smoking that pipe. He's not really, is he? He's not he's smoking that, but he's just... He's lit it, and there's another pipe in the teacup, just not on the piano. Yeah, have to, yeah, just in case. It's a two-pipe situation. There's a third one there as well. We sort yeah. of just saw it by the... The Age of Chivalry. Goddamn patriarchy these days, isn't it? I was going to say, the, the image on... Yeah. <laughs> two shillings! Jesus Christ. Oh, this gag, all oh, the owners and the pets. Look like they're pets. Okay, guess the breed of dog. Um, it's an Afghan, isn't it? Pug? Oh, it seems so. There's no way to talk about the lady. Um, she may be a bit snooty, but... Listen. I don't know if it is Pug. Might be somebody to Bulldog. Mm. The Poodle. Poodle. I don't ever see the poodle actually done up like that. That's a proper poodle as well. It's mm. not one of the um, half breed ones you get. Because proper poodles are massive things. Mm. As a French poodle, that one's supposed to be more like, though. King Spaniel. Lab. <laughs> He's really captured the tiredness in the voice as yeah. well. It's nice. Dalmatian just happens to. Well, pay good money for a line to be what a bitch. It would make sense. It's a female dog. It's always a way that have you know? It's a thing they always do in a lot of stuff. Whenever they do a panning shot of a, of a woman, apart from legs go up. It's always legs going up. I've seen some. They're a big reveal like... for the face, probably. It's, oh, it's, it's, oh it's... legs. Oh, oh, oh. Like. It's not just that, it's because mm-hmm. it, it, they like to accentuate the curves on the legs, so they pay more attention to it and, you sit the cur- and the, as the body going up. <laughs> your dog's up. Has your dog ever done that? Manipulated your clock to get for a walk early? <laughs> if you have, please call this number. <laughs> please call the circus, you have an act in that. All these Britons got talent. Um... Well, yeah, dog won. Was it last year or the year before? I can't remember. I don't even watch Britons got talent, like... Would shoot my TV. Right. It doesn't question it. My watch it must be wrong. Cause the clock... You listen to it. Troy, it's ticking. <laughs> ah, it's like... That's most dogs I know. When you threaten to go for a walk, they get very excited. And this is really old, and they just don't give a shit. Yeah, uh, still light. Now right? he's lighting the pipe. <laughs> what? Meanwhile, it's <laughs> Regent's Park, I believe. Well, there could be any number of them in London. There's only one room with one Dalmatian in Regent's Park. He's got a very similar voice to Pongo as Roger. Mm. No. I'll never get that pipe there. It's the same animation still as well. Mm. As one would assume. <laughs> he just uses nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the slapstick from the uh, film, live action film. No. Animation wouldn't be quite the same. Of course, he's reading quietly under a tree. And the dog is just sitting there. My kind of gal. The dog or the wolf? <laughs> well, I'm scared of dogs, so. Um... And I'm scared of women, so a female dog is just no. Yes, definitely. It's, it's all the wrong boxes. A right. cool, a cool pongo. A cool, a casual. Madam, do you want to sniff my butt? How's she reading? She's got her eyes closed. She's, she's just like good. She's thinking about the paragraph she just read. It was very emotional. She's just thinking about it. Right, 
Men. Idiots. <laughs> All right, dog, you and me. I love the stare off he has there. It's kind yeah. of a surprise. All right, Bobby. Ah, oh, dear. Poor, poor. She thinks he's an idiot. <laughs> Holy shit, they can kill a flower. It's quick and quiet. Ninja. Oh, that's the way you catch a dog. No, I might watch. Hat, hat, he lifts his hat! Hat, hat, Roger, your hat. He's got his hat back. Where did he get his hat from? Oh dear. Oh! Um, yeah, that will go down well. Um, <laughs> ruined your outfit. Ruined the hair! And her hat. Yeah, just, if it's gonna go well. And the hat. It's all new. So of course it is. Oh, Pongo, what have you done? That's how it happens. Mm. Hatches. Very British, isn't it? Yes. Hello. Next day. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was quick. You don't want to see the awkward dates, picking out the dresses. Where no, but what I would like to see is, is, is some witnesses in the pews. There's no one there. Dogs are there. They count in this plot. Because <laughs> the story's not about the romance here as no. well. That's a key thing. Modest. It's a very narrow house. <clears throat> it looks quite nice. Mm. It's got it's one of those basement things I've always seen in London. You can go downstairs from the pavement. Just thinking about tomorrow, we're getting you fixed. <laughs> Why would they have a nanny? You don't have any kids. She's a house as far as I'm aware, neither of them work away from the house. She's a housekeeper. It is unusual she would have one, though. Well, for kids, okay. or, if, or if they were both out working, some of the guys with the dogs. Or even then, to afford one as well. Mm. I mean, Roger is generally unsuccessful as a musician, as we know. He's capable. I know. Tum to Tim Tum. They're a lovely couple. Oh, they're at it again. It's all loveliness. Hmm. I want to make a joke about women drivers. Because it's a running joke throughout the entire film. I want that car. <laughs> That's a name you can trust. He's good. He can just... He's, fast. As well. He's making his up as he goes, remember? Like he wrote this in, the, in advance. I wish he walks like that. <laughs> you can tell she's evil because the silhouette doesn't look yes. very nice. <laughs> He's at it again. Oh! I wonder what she smokes. It's green. <laughs> what animal does that fur coat come from? Mink, I think. Mm. Man, it's really got a smoke screen in the house. That is some. Oh. Also, how did she get her hair that like that? 
I've got to put credit to Roger, though. He, he must be able to play all those instruments. Yeah. That's skill. It's interesting because you always think she's a lot bigger than she actually is. She's actually incredibly thin. It's the mm. coat that gives her the scale and size. Can't wear fur coats these days. You say it like it's a bad thing. I don't know. That's a style to a fur coat. <clears throat> Seriously, what was in that tobacco she was smoking? Or still smoking? Have you noticed her, her lighter she just had there? It's like a crocodile head on it. Wouldn't surprise me. She really doesn't quite get the idea of, I'm going to be lovely and She evil. bought those cigarettes from Maleficent. <laughs> yeah, it's green. <laughs> and she's gone. She's gone. As quickly as she arrived, she she's disappeared. Gone. Yeah. Where did you get the cigarette hole from? <laughs> I was going to say, where's Bedita gone? She went under the cooker when Corona showed up. I'm still waiting for the tragic backstory for Disney they're going to give Corella the real. I don't know if they're still on the works for that. I know there was talk of it. Well, you know, you've been named Corella the Vill. No, I say that joke about the name not being. They did it with Maleficent, for fuck's sake. That's what Purdy is. Nothing is going to happen to those puppies. Oh god, this is tragic. Why did you not tell me it got so sad at the start? I forgot one about Disney this. doesn't get sad at least once. It's so awful for her though. Yeah. Of course they purpose are born and it's raining and stormy. It's always like that. It creates the atmosphere. Day <laughs> first of October. October's always stormy weather. <laughs> I'm gonna be a bit more. Nanny hide just for the pregnant they've given birth. When you get a vet to give birth to your puppies? Not necessarily. I've owned families with dogs and you don't necessarily need anyone there. I just need. Most I don't know. I, I wasn't there. Ed, well, afterwards. Most women need at least when giving birth. <laughs> Why is Roger so anxious? No. I'm amazing he can blow smoke rings though when he's doing that. There he is. And they remember they've got to feed them all. <laughs> Definitely getting Pongo fixed after this. I think I've given birth 15 puppies. Fine is not the word. I think that'd be most people's reaction finding out. How many children do you have now? 15. Mm -hmm. So I gave birth 15 children. What was the size of her when she's pregnant?
Tense. Ticking clock is what's doing it, isn't yes. it? Like Pendulum, I'm swinging fast. <laughs> Oh. Nanny doesn't have a name. She's just Nanny. She has no name. She's just Nanny. Of course she enters the thunderclap. She was waiting for that thunderclap before she Oh, entered. God. She's been here for ten minutes waiting for a thunderclap. She's waiting for that moment. <laughs> How much dialogue of this is actually in the live action film? <laughs> Wow, don't mess with Nanny. The 15 puppies is a lot of puppies to feed. It's a lot. But to be fair, a, a, lot, a Dalmatian is a lot. They're big, they're big dogs. I feel Pongo should have a bubble pipe to match it, Roger. Yeah. Oh my god, a checkbook. And, um... That's why I don't use fountain pens. Um... I can stop the stammer. I can... he's, he's typifying the idea of the Englishman who's trying to put his foot down on yeah. the situation, but it's, I, 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 I'm not going to stand by it. I'm waiting until someone in real life swears vengeance on me like that. <laughs> and they leave in a half swear in vengeance. <laughs> he's turned to stone. <laughs> well, he's even leaned when he's turned to stone. <laughs> what was the torch for on the ground? Um... <laughs> It's the broom closet, if you've noticed. Still, I feel like they were using it in the pregnancy. <laughs> For something, you just don't want to know. Look at the puppies! That's a lot of puppies. <laughs> Go through all the names. <laughs> uh, nothing quite like an old western. The dog. Yeah, it's still a western type it's thing. Thunder, the Wonder Dog, or whatever it's called. Thunderbolt. <laughs> no one can make someone fall in the pun pond in the park like Dad can. What? The mailman <laughs> really annoys him. Damn you, mailman. And this raises a question. These dogs speak English, but yet when they, they also bark. Yes. And they understand humans when they speak English fully. Completely understand what they say. That's a well, that's, question. That's, that's, that's the logic of Disney, generally. It's a question how this works. Well, it's the thing of understanding someone doesn't mean you can speak the language, necessarily. Because one bark thing... as well as talk. <laughs> 
Well, they're speaking amongst themselves. To us, it would sound like barks, I assume. The difference is they can oh, understand bullshit, us. Oh, bullshit, I that jump. Sorry, TV. Um, dog making that jump. Of course the fat one's hungry. I think Dad would like to watch it. Dad's missing the show. Dad, did you see that? No. No, because someone was standing on my head. <laughs> Imagine this is in 3D. Um, go for the jugular. I just noticed the laugh he just did, that's the same laugh as Pete. Hmm. Until the police started barking, wouldn't one of the humans come in and see what the hell was going on? <laughs> Meanwhile, Alfred Pennyworth. Why is K9 Crunchy spelt with a K? What is this? Mortal Kombat. It's, it's Crunchies, is it? Both words are spelt with a K. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call it. Walk. Um, <laughs> how do you take 15 puppies for a walk? That's a lot. I mean, 15 dogs for a walk. Yeah. Only when you can swim. Whenever I go in the park, people end up in the lake for, lake. for reasons that I never remember. I remember. Hmm. <laughs> it's the most terrifying advert. Uh, The television reacted to being turned off there, did you notice? It had the look of a oh, shock. Ah, the greyness of London. <laughs> the grey misery of London. <laughs> oh, it's permanently grizzling. Nothing to see here. Well, that's not Hugh Laurie. I forgot it's Hugh Laurie in the live action yes. one, isn't Hugh it? Hugh Laurie and Mark Williams are Horace and Jasper. Jasper and Horace. Whichever way you want to do it. I always know as Jasper and Horace. <laughs> Bad things happen when you think. I still have the nightmares. I'll never leave. Like That's a know. classic thing for anyone to say, isn't it? I've been thinking. You've been what? <laughs> I warned you about that. <laughs> Horace has got a conscience. Mm. Usually one of the pair does. Usually, yeah, it's usually one of them, isn't it? Yeah, one of them have them. Have you noticed it's always the short one as well, usually? Mm. Short round, if they usually. Short people but, have consciences. Tall people. No, it's people. the thing of the tall, lanky ones. Usually, when you do pairs, you make them little and large. You, mm. you make them as different as possible. Tall and lanky, short and round. <laughs> Subtle con. I assume it's mid-evening at this point, going for an evening walk. Yeah. How electric coming comes in the middle of the evening? Nine to five, anywhere between there. Or like seven to five. Somewhere, now that's grass all fucking day. Poor Nanny. Nanny in that door did not get on. Uh, just throw it up and...
Or you could just call the police. That's the same voice as uh, Mim from uh, Sword of the Stone. Is it? Yeah, I recognise the voice. The shrieking bit is what makes me go, it's, it's marvellous, mad, but Mim. That van does not sound healthy. No, I'm probably going to move tall, really. Call the police. <laughs> oh, hysterical, hysterical fit down the streets. She's literally gone out to call for the police, yeah. not phone them. She's, She's going to walk to Scotland Yard. <laughs> I know that where London this exactly is. Right? To be fair, 19, well, even then, London, there's usually them wandering around. Mm. Tories admit it puts us in the red. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm noticing the other headlines. Yeah, you do. The interesting that. thing. Because it's Harold Macmillan, which puts you the time setting. Which works, because he was Prime Minister in 61. They pose that photo. Scrubs escape, hunted, maybe killers. I wouldn't put Correa's cover when you have a pink bed. And the most sinister foe in fiction. Uh, she really just... Jasper's got caught in the 1900s by that phone. Shilling. <laughs> also, the short one's usually the dumb one out of the pair. Yes, that's true as well. well do you, I think the difference is they're both usually idiots, but the yeah. taller one's the, got the one is, is the cunning. Yeah. They're both dumb, but one of them's cunning. Do you think that's a suggestion about the idea that smart people tend to be a bit Machiavellian? Possibly. If you if you're tall, you t if you if you're tall and smart, you tend to have less of a conscience. Possibly. Or it's just funny to have a short fat guy. Be stupid. <laughs> Why ever a grown person use the word darling? It's incredibly patronizing. It depends if she's popular. No, look at darling. It's just me. Darling. Yes, sir? No, not you. Yeah, yeah. So I was just going to go black out of then for a little bit. That's actually his name. That's not a patch. Yeah, I know. No, I'm thinking of the one where um, he's talking about someone referring to them as darling mm -hmm. and he responds. <laughs> Eccentric? Does she actually do? <laughs> See, in the film, she's a fashion designer. She's well, got <laughs> money, we know that much. Yeah. But equally, what does it need to do in this? Because we've never, we don't know what she does. Mm. I'm more curious about how people don't go, her name is Cruella Deville. Cool. Deville, I understand, means of the city, but Cruella? I think they're going for the devil reference. Yeah, I know that. Later on, the house is called Hell Hall. I now understand D Deville is literally yeah. is a reference to cruel devil, mm. but literally it just means Deville is just of the city. Mm. But still, Cruella? One name. Who goes? A little girl, what do you call her? Cruella. Who named a little girl Maleficent? <laughs> That's fantasy. That's Still, good. even by. You're just asking them to be a supervillain in the future. True. It's, it's the theory that. It's depending on your names whether you'll be a supervillain. It's like Victor Don Von Doom. Yeah, it's like you are going to be a supervillain. The name is slightly mean something, alliteration. Do we have to do that when we have kids? I don't know. What, do you want to be supervillains? And no, why does it say when we have kids? Like, <laughs> Zach, what, are you planning it? What, you and I, we adopt. Yeah, well, we're going to have to, otherwise, it's an interesting conversation. <laughs> yeah, it is. Pretty sure Reed's Park has got a hill in it. I haven't been to Regent's Park for a long I time. Think it's I think it's actually Hampstead Heath. Oh, okay. Mm. 
He can't control that dog. That's <laughs> <laughs> been comical about just being yanked off screen. Was the whole thing of being yanked off stage at the yeah. same festival? Oh, Scooby Doo. Great Dane. Yes, Great Dane. Scooby Doo. It's more like Marmaduke, I'd say. Uh-huh. Little Scott Terrier. Oh, I, I hate yeah. dogs. I hate dogs that yap. No, it was Regent's oh, Park there. Really. It was Regent's Park there. And... I am a Nigerian prince. Damn it, you spam me on the dog box. It's like Scooby Doo with a brain. Uh... Does no one read the newspapers? I don't know if they can read. Yeah, but they have owners, they've been mentioned, I'm sure it's been talked about. The Twilight Bark. So remember Dog in the City goes completely. Wasn't he Lady in the Tramp? That dog. That's Not exactly that dog, but that. No, exactly, that's, that's a Scottish Terrier. Yeah, They're lovely. I swear there was a Scottish Terrier. Dog in Lady in the Tramp. Or Afghan. Called Prissy, apparently. Prissy. Oh! <laughs> well, that's just harsh, isn't it? Oh, I've got every dog in there. Are we going to end up going through all the other ones we've seen? Every single dog. That dog is. That... Those dogs are also been laying the tramp. Yeah. I am. <laughs> it's Popo. Is it Poco or Coco? I don't know. I have Popo. <laughs> Coco would make sense. I mean, well, not really, but... There was Lady! Was that? Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, really. we actually saw Lady. I don't know why, but I really want some canine crunchies. Canine crunchies. <laughs> no, dog biscuits. I don't even eat dog biscuits. Vogue, as well. I'm seeing the sign for Vogue. Something for Keys. I see St. Paul's in the distance. I'm trying yeah. to work out London where they are. Meanwhile, in the countryside. <laughs> uh, south side, by the looks of it. In Suffolk, isn't it? I think. Or was that the level somewhere? That's travelled quick fast. Dogs don't mess around. So it's about Chinese whispers, how it gets where it needs to go, it's gonna be something entirely different. Oh, well, that's not a dog. All the way from London. Oh God, I sense blustering British officer. There's <laughs> a tip. All the dogs do seem to very much typify the idea of all Britishness. I just, right, I'm just passing on. It's just right. right it's, it's up to me now, is it? All oh, right, all right. Major General Smedley. Right, He's a girl. <laughs> no, 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 that's the home. I know, but I think... It's also not a dog. I remember Tibbs. Have a really great escape. <laughs> right, right, lads. It's British, so it's a uh, sort of military. The Germans are coming. That's what we mean by message German. Right, boys, Jerry's on the way over. <laughs> he didn't got the moustache. He's going in their own TV spin off. Um, <laughs> dogs do that? <clears throat> you know, I'm actually I'm more interested in it now that I'm older, I think. Because last time I saw it, was, I was a little kid. 
loosey goosey. Because they can all understand. Yes, the horse and the cat also. Word is the word. Isn't that Colonel Hattie? I think it might be the same. Yes, or oh, just a blustering British officer, I'm just assuming. It's the whole typifying idea. It would probably <laughs> appeal to me a little bit. I wouldn't be unsurprised if it was the same. No, place. it is Colonel Hattie. It is. It is. <laughs> of course it is what I said, you got cool. back from India. <laughs> Dear God damn Jerry. <laughs> that will try and be a wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I'm imagining the, the booth where they where all the the voice actors are having to bark. That's what I said. Because hell hole is a place you want to live. Hmm. Oh, well, uh... Is way too cherry. They're vicious fucking things. Um, they are. They're terrifying animals. They're actually a very good term for foxes. I've, I've heard. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Mordor, um, I expect, I expect, I expect the colonel to have a pipe as well and just pull the pipe up. Okay. I don't know how he'd be able to do it. Yeah, but he he'd, will, find the way. Yeah, no, he'd have a pipe and he'd go, bloody Paul, can't even know the bloody thing. His Tibbs light for him. Um, Tibbs? Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> Tibbs is the typical thing of the the competent adjundant. Yes, yes. Who never quite gets the credit he deserves, but still carries on, nevertheless. Who would live in a place like that? When it's abandoned, they're not meant to live there, but I know. Well, that's just racist. <laughs> so she bought 80, what, four puppies, and so it's still the last 15. Good lord! Still all the cool bullshit on this plan. <laughs> That's a lot of, I don't know how many you would need for a coat. <laughs> They're different, so we ostracize them. The hell are they watching? Um, the Bill and Ben the Fat Pot men went nuts. <laughs> I think it's a Disney short, in actual fact. Probably is. And of course, has got food. So that's his one character trait, and we're going to go with it. There are the two traits. It's literally the tall, lanky one usually drinks as well. Roast beef sandwich by the looks of it. Professional blokes like you. I feel when your sandwich just go disappears from seriously. 
There's a golf room. They stop on the way. There's a cruelty of the whole thing. He's got open sandwich. <laughs> Oh, and drink a duck. Oh, <laughs> we're terrified. You mean? <laughs> Where did they get the cake from? <laughs> what? That has to. It's been time. Like a wedding cake as well. <laughs> it's just a waste of good alcohol. Oh, the bottle's empty. That's yeah. convenient. <laughs> I just noticed he's got most of his socks, mostly yes, holes. Of course. Angle is that shot taken. I assume it's Boudicca in the front. <laughs> the angle of that. <laughs> Boudicca or Bodicea? Boudicca. I'm getting into this argument. I, I was taught both at school. I was taught both. I, was taught I, I never knew which one to go with. I think Boudicca was right in Bodicea was a spare mistake done by some monk. Mm. And it stuck through history. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. One of them. I'm called a booty ghost, so I think that's what they call it in civilization. Mm. Is London just permanently misty? Or is that just smog? Because it is the 60s. Smog. Well, I think the Clean Air Act was in the 50s, isn't it? Oh, I don't really know. I don't know which route they're going through London to camp. Pass it on. Mm -hmm. Oh, we know lots of boats on the Thames. When you reach Wisdom, visit with a marsh, Gandalf the Grey will be there waiting for you. Ooh. You always need like a Lord of the Rings style score after they venture off in their quest. Fifty six. Fifty six. Yeah, it was fifty six, and okay. it was in effect until sixty four. Mm. It still need Lord of the Rings style music and sweeping shots of London. It's kind of got it a little bit. It's, it's, got, it's sweeping scores, but it's not quite the same. <laughs> Remember, all, all, all the directions they got were it's somewhere north of here. <laughs> Here we are. The 1952 small gave momentum for a tougher action. This was the Clean Air Act. Its effect also led to the introduction of the City of London, Various Powers Act of 1954, and the influence of the Clean Air Act 1968. Wow. Wow, they're really going through all weathers to get yeah. there, aren't they? Gandalf when you need him. He always disappears at random point. So I had to... I don't want to do it. I don't want to... That is enough moving. Yeah, it's gonna be freezing cold. Oh, it'll be like ice. Oh, they're bad, they're bad, they're nothing is through. They're both gonna drown. They're shocking alone, Wood. Or oh, worse, worse than I mean. <laughs> the mental image alone. <laughs> that was surprisingly good stuff for. Her. There's a lot more screeching involved. <laughs> on the double, man, on the double. Tonight? <laughs> We've seen so much of them, they're everywhere. Oh. 
bashing them on the head won't do any good. For one thing, you'll be damaging the skin. I don't know quite why I'm suggesting why I say that, but... Potent stuff. I just... What the hell was he drinking? <laughs> Kerosene. I was going to say, because he's bloody sober. Hmm. Of course it falls on Horus. <laughs> That's the British workforce for you right there. <laughs> Alright, Carol, I'll have consonant. Yeah, what's my crime? <laughs> what is this show? What's my crime? Is this, is this like Call My Bluff? Um, yeah, I think it is actually a bit. It was a whole thing that it used to be like radio shows they used to do for the television. It was entertaining. By fashionable seaside resort, we mean Skegness. <laughs> Pretty sure there's human rights acts involved in this. He gets the holiday once he's been released. Yeah, the whole idea of exploiting prisoners, that is a human rights act. It's on a clock as well. This is a good idea for a show. I still call it as a human rights. You have a dog bites tail. It's gonna react. <laughs> Just throws it. It's a skilled cat, man. Oh. That's <laughs> very sinister. Step. The hand on the shoulder. The gloved hand on the shoulder. His. All the fire That seems like less efficient way of doing it. Is it really a... Man, if only we had... But my uncle ain't Bob! Oh, I was not that joke. I was excited and he says, My Bob's not... My Bob's called something. <laughs> In... Still think of bludgeon weapons are a very efficient way, isn't it? <laughs> We're at 99 of them. You're going to get a sore arm by then. 99? Oh, yeah, it is, because it's Pongo and... Per the other, so yes. Mega Hunter and one, yeah. One. I always forget that. No. March. <laughs> this is why we're not allowed to babysit anymore. <laughs> This is why we haven't got the jobs elsewhere. <laughs> I'm stuck with you, Lux. <laughs> ah! Stampede! <laughs> oh! Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, they're seriously injured. Uh, oh. <laughs> the slapstick. Oh, but they're calling the elephants.
Double cross. Was the cat on your side still? <laughs> no, I think the men's are puppies. Oh. Uh, everyone. Oh, you idiot. Wait, well, someone grabbed his tail. He probably Yeah, should... yeah, yeah, I understand that, but. <laughs> <laughs> this ring around the rosy. Somehow they ended up in Birmingham. I'm not sure how that happened. I told you we should have turned left at Croydon. <laughs> should have asked that man for directions. No, 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 I'm going. I knew exactly where I was going. No. That seems to be the Colonel's catchphrase, doesn't it? Yes. Well, what else would it be? Right, like Joe. Now I'm making him be arse himself. <laughs> Everyone knows who he is. It's just the Colonel. The name just the. Pingu. There might be a few more. Don't wait up for me! <laughs> <laughs> Room's turned red. That's how you do it. Although the dog could be cut to shreds and jump through a glass window. <laughs> you can't do that, umbrella. Oh. <laughs> That's how you break a fight up. You get yeah. them to fight for themselves. By George. By George. <laughs> fight him on the nose. I didn't. <laughs> Come on, Lucky. <laughs> Oh, my bum. Come on, Tibbs. <laughs> Someone needs a bugle horn, something in this. Please <laughs> oh, wear braces. No, dog dogs are going to have a one, two. That's severe burns. <laughs> uh, it's always comedy double acts, isn't it? Yeah. Because really? at, the, at, the, at the same time, at the end of the day, they do care about one another. They go, <laughs> you idiot. But I don't think they'd ever want anything bad to ever happen to the other one. Uh, it's kind of this, you can't do that. I'm the only one that can do that. I don't know how you have spots anyway. Yes. Some of them have stripes. You get striped hyenas as well. I've seen the Lion King. Most hyenas, yeah. Probably the other 80 odd. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit more than twice. Except they weren't technically stolen, they were bought for. Those other HL puppies. A beast. A goblin. A horn swaggler. Yeah. I don't know what one of those is, but it sounds good. I don't think from Narnia. Or Dr. Zeus. I think it might be. Do you know that's not the correct way to say his name, actually? No, it's Zeus. Zeus. But it's, it should be Dr. Zeus. That's somehow it's more funny. That's how he pronounced his own name. It's like Everest should not be called Mount Everest, because he pronounced his name as Everest. Mm -hmm. It be Mount Everest. This is the worst military outfit I've ever seen in my life. Now, you see Jerry on his way. 
I'm surprised that thing started in the cold. Yeah, you wouldn't have thought of it. I've searched everywhere. I can't see him. They must not be here. Captain. I can really do some damage here. Oh, that, that breaks bones. Yes, being <laughs> well, it's like good, good range. Um, Very good range. <laughs> I know everything must be kicked by a horse after you There's the typical rule of thugs as well. They can beat up to hell, but they never take long term damage. We're going off road in this thing. <laughs> that must be bloody thick ice. And as typical again, the comedy relief one has the smart idea. Yeah. Of course. Sounds ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So how by how thick that ice is, how cold is it outside? <laughs> we ninety-nine puppies. I'm on this long trip, I didn't lose one of them. Not a single one. So the following this river back to London. I don't even know what the river is. I'm in trouble. <clears throat> Seriously, woman, drive! Drive! Oh dear. <laughs> He's now got a hat that matches. Well, you got to put some coats on within time. How is she doing that through a car? That is a true woman driver right there, blaming someone else for the bad driving. That was a jet plane noise as it went past. I'm not sure it was jet plane, but it was certainly piston engine. Yeah. <laughs> that if, was, that was, that if was. That car it. transforms into like a fucking plane by the end of this. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Well, we know how evil she is. It'd be yeah. a measure smith, probably. Dog is tempting his fate with his name. <laughs> God, what's in the... Poor little baby. <sighs> Lassie! Good evening, sir. Isn't it wonderful? The dogs have a really do have a trans. Yes. Wonderful community. Yeah. Well, we just walked away over here. Oh, I turn around now. This must be bitterly difficult for yes. the puppies. This almost is, renders the argument. This is why human. This is why animals are better than humans. Ah. <laughs> Oh, 
dear boy. Has it already landed clear cardboard? Yes. Yeah. I may work on a farm, but... You've been hungry this entire film. Oh, it's that chorus of voices. Yeah. <laughs> you have to pasteurize milk first. You can't actually drink it straight from a cow. <laughs> well, you can. You can, but it's not good for you. <laughs> that won't be as good for you. It raises unpleasant connotations when you think about it. Um, they're sucking on. Anyway. Oh. oh, yeah. If not, I can sing for you if you wish. I've got a darling voice. I want him to go, now look here, dear boy. All night with my voice. There's yeah. a lot of collies. He has to have the smoothest voice, doesn't he? <laughs> I somehow imagine him being this sort of wartime ace yes. type thing. With the, the, the coat gives the idea as well. Yeah, the old the... sort of flight jackets that made them just look like heroes. With a moustache and a... What oh, okay. this is actually really good. I'm, re I can't, I, 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 I'm much more engaged with it now than I was. Making fun of voices. Um, hmm? Since you're a war film. <laughs> it is in a lot of ways, isn't it? Yeah. It is an escape from the war. Yeah. Film. It's great escape type with thing. With puppies. Um, with puppies. Right, we're going to build a glider. <laughs> I've got to say, though... Those cows, they're much nicer than the elephants. And yeah. Them. They're lovely. Those cows, they're, they're lovely women. The elephants are <laughs> oh, oh, horrid. Horrid, horrid people. Oh, oh, people. Horrible. Seriously, I want to see him build this glider. Um, build a tunnel. We must get the... We must get out of Germany. Nazi! <laughs> What is the tracks? <laughs> Move. Oh, he's going to get cover the tracks. Clever. But they all need to side the road. It's just... Well, yeah. German Panzer Division. Um... Tell us that car run on. It's Frau de Ville. A car runs on pure enough to evil. <laughs> I find, I find it a little bit amazing that she doesn't think they're dogs how do they know to cover their tracks and they're, watch your driving so they're going the long way yes or the other side individually <laughs> I'm more, I find it weirder that right the two way fork in the road one goes left one goes right they both take you to the exact same destination but one is two miles longer than the other yes one. Why would you choose the longer one? I made it because the other side of the village just like go around and corner them. C cross the border. Sorry, this is turned into. Sorry, what? Cross the border to France and then from there across the channel to England. Just running somewhere and says, Good luck! Thank <laughs> you. Because London's a very small place. It doesn't matter yes. where in London they go. Uh-oh. Um. I'd like to think Pongo and Purdy would know their way around London, more or less. Yeah. For one thing, they'd, they'd, they'd be a bit safer. Puzzles. What we need is a cunning plan. <laughs> oh, there. Did not, no comebacks. <laughs> That's a massive pile of soot here. I have a cunning plan. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and my collar is sparkling clean. Frank 
Pentacles really work when you've all got spots. As a name, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about kids? Kids always like doing that, don't they? Like playing in the mud and that kind of thing. Well, that's how I did normally. You're not allowed to do it. Yeah. So you want to do it. Just hisses gas as it goes past. It's just out of your... <laughs> She's crazy. So where's everyone who lives in this village? <laughs> Although they've just been turfed out by the uh, Panzer Division. Because not one person's question these two guys going around. One with a fire poker in his hand. Wouldn't their footprints leave soot in the snow? They've been rolling around. <laughs> well, there might be, don't be, my You don't know, question Trella going, ah, oh, they've covered their tracks. <laughs> well, that's just sexist, Pongo, because I'm like, ah! <laughs> Sex. <laughs> uh oh, she's popped. Pop, pop, parked. Um, uh oh. These are the worst Gestapo agents ever. She <laughs> 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 yeah. never looks where she's going whenever she starts driving. <laughs> oh, it's the most worrying thing. All right, mate. Yeah, you have two human beings in this village. Yep. One of them's not even live for me. He's just passing through. Do you know what those two are up to over there? No, I've got a clue. <laughs> now I leave, man. Not far from out of town. I'm probably that car can go round that roundabout. Yeah, I'm amazed as well, actually. How long it is. Hmm. It drops. Gas station there. It dropped four degrees, even colder when she goes fast. Oh no, and two just throw them. I think someone's been counting. All just kid down. I don't think they can, it's boarded up. Oh, I'm pretty sure. What a tail career. <laughs> Whoa, there she is. Whoa! <laughs> what are the cards evil? With the headlines. Oh dear. Just act casual. <laughs> Damn global warming. <laughs> The reverse Dalmatians. I want a fur coat of them now. Mortar, mortar shell. See, they can go through it. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> Not going to get in your car and chase the van down. Labrador, we never think gets a name. Maybe the collie, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, I assume we got them all. <laughs> well, yes. Let's assume. Uh oh. She incapable of driving in a straight line. I think it's an American car. <laughs> Which suddenly makes a lot more sense. Yes. Corner! Bloody hell, she's trying to murder the man! Yeah. We established she's crazy. See? <laughs> no. Would you be able to push the entire van off? It's like Jewel, but I mean, that's good. All right. <laughs> it transforms. I can't almost have an impressive fucking four wheel drive system to do that. 
Her car runs on it's evil. Like, just hate, sheer hate. <laughs> but now look at it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> He's even got a cape now as well with that yeah. coat. Whereabouts are we in England? <laughs> Some in the home counties, I think, at this point. You nincompoop! Oh! Oh, they should all be dead. I don't think any of them were. literally disintegrated. Yeah. Any of them wearing a seatbelt. Someone's phone line's gone down as well. <laughs> I don't know if this was at the point where seatbelts are mandatory yet. Mm. They're fine. <laughs> My days for television. <laughs> well, he, good news, why have I got Christmas number one? <laughs> Just number one. Well, we don't need to worry about money anymore, clearly, from that, which is nice. Yes. There's no alcohol, now you drink it all while making. How long do you think it's been away? They've been away, about a week? No, probably quite a while. I don't know. What has she got? It's the pose of a tea cozy on her hat. Her hair is tied up in a bun behind it. <laughs> It was a uniform. And he's gone. Now he's gone and lost it. <laughs> we need to get a new one. Oh, and there would be soot everywhere. There's going to be soot everywhere. Everywhere. Well, Nanny, you've got a lot of work to do. She's starting. <laughs> We're going out to get drunk and celebrate. Nanny, clean the house. <laughs> Quite a few. Uh... Oh, my God, it's happened. We've snapped. Nanny, I count all of them. How to do maths with dogs. <laughs> if you have 99 puppies in your house, you may be in trouble financially. <laughs> Unless you have Christmas number one, in which case... Well, I wouldn't think you on yours. <laughs> I, 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 I've never quite realised they made that reference to it. Mm. Where do you all come from, Pongo, you old rascal, you? <laughs> Are we doing any more rhymes? He's singing again. <laughs> oh. Quite like tuneful barks, though. Yes. Just... I think Nanny was at the uh, sherry. <laughs> Neighbours like, oh, they're out again. Neighbours were happy. It was, peaceful. it was peaceful for a week. There we are. Yeah, there's anyone going, what the hell is that noise? What the hell is going on? All the dogs are doing it now no, as well. I'm trying to sleep. Do you mind? <laughs> so what did happen to Cruella? Oh, no, she's still in that ditch. My car's broken, so... Yeah, but she was... She's not dead, like most of them. And she's... As far as we're aware, she's never been arrested. There was it. Well, they did do well, 102 Dalmatians, didn't they? Oh, with, in the live action yes. one. Ever exactly just disappear. You never see her again. It's the same thing with most villains. They don't. Sometimes they don't die. They just get defeated, which is all that's necessary, really. But they come back. Well, yeah, because remember they did 101 Dalmatians TV series on the Disney Channel, which followed after the film. 
which is, which has them all moving out to a farm because they need to space. And Corella's still trying to get the puppies. I think someone would call the police at this point. At some point, but to be fair, <laughs> Roger and Anita Pizza. don't aren't aware of any of it. The only ones who are aware of what actually happened, remember, are the dogs. Except for the weekly antics that the puppies get in. Yeah. <laughs> Something's going on here. I feel like your life's a TV series where every week something wacky happens. If so, call this number. If so, and what's this camera crew doing here? Which doesn't work now, patient. Anything's drawn. No. There is no camera crew. My joke doesn't work. <laughs> so yeah, so that was uh, 101 Dalmatians. I like dogs. I like it's dogs. I enjoyed that a lot more watching it this time than I did when I was a kid. I think because I, I understand it a bit better. Because when you're a kid, a part of it, I just went, I don't, I'm not interested. It all just washed over me a lot of it. Mm. But I really enjoyed it this time, actually. And a lot of references as well, as you were saying. You get them a bit more. And Quill is still weirdly terrifying in her eyes. She is terrifying. Because <laughs> you don't tend to have scenes with just her either as well. You get her gloating, but that's literally all you have with her. Because otherwise she is just the woman who wants to skin the puppies to turn into dog skin coats. And there's nothing redeemable about that. There's no humanity to I mean, trying to kidnap a princess, you can, you can work out, but skinning puppies? Oh no. Well, not that. I'll think of it. Right, I'll pay you for them. What do you mean mm. you don't want the money? Fine. <laughs> Plan B. Stealing them. Because that's how rational people think. Yes. She's oh, terrifying. There is weirdly, there must be a backstory to this. Uh... Or she's just completely insane and likes fur coats. Mm. Image of her going to London Zoo. <laughs> well, she's not allowed in London Zoo anymore. No, um, she's not, that, out, not after the incident. <laughs> right, don't attack that. I think the animals are in London Zoo that have fur. I think polar bears, but they haven't been polar bears in London Zoo for years. Uh. Lions and tigers are still there. Yeah, right? that would be an interesting fight. We're going to be a fight with a lion. Simba is giving her a little no. No. <laughs> Come near me. I've already lost my dad to a herd of wildebeest. Yeah. Uh, so, so anyway, so that was 101 Dalmatians. Oh! So that's the uh, penultimate of our Disney month. So uh, you can join us uh, next week for the last instalment. And it's one that... Uh, it's my pick. Yep. It's the last. Of, it's uh. It's the second of my picks. So uh, join like, us this time. It might be one I only I've ever seen on the way through. Yeah, yes, it'll be an interesting one. It's not bits. one of the most popular Disney ones, but it's one that should get more recognition, which is one of the reasons I chose it. Well, so, I uh, just go for the obvious ones. Yeah. So, I'm, uh, I'm mainstream like that. Yeah. <laughs> so join us next week.